I'm Lorelai, registered dietitian nutritionist. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to talk about pasta and vitamin C and what the heck they have in common. The thing they're going to have in common is pasta salad, which I'm going to show you how to make. Grabbing salad? Pasta salad does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it just seems like an odd thing to name it. A salad is like leafy green stuff. We're gonna put a ton of vegetables in there though. So you think that salads yeah. have leafy greens? So like potato salad? <sighs> we use it a lot, but the first thing I think of when salad is like tossable vegetables. What's the background on the word? On the word salad? Yes. I don't know. Okay. Go ahead and Google it. Okay. I think yeah. generally they have some kind of vegetables, but I don't know. Like you sometimes see these like jello salads that don't. So I feel like oh. the term is a little broad. Salads are cold, I would say. A hot salad. No, right? you can't. All right. Soup is a hot salad. No, it's a soup. Soups can be cold. I don't know if salads you can be hot. You say potato. How do you usually get your vitamin C? Orange juice. Joe and I have started creating a song to help you remember from where you can get your vitamins and minerals. Vitamins, vitamins and minerals. Carrots and a cantaloupe contain vitamin A. Okay, well maybe we should move on to vitamin B. Please, dear God, yes. The B vitamin <laughs> first is gonna be long because it's a group of eight, like, Niacin, riboflavin, thiamin, and folate. I mean, we put a lot of work into this. <laughs> it's going really well. Yes. But I thought I would do a supplemental video to give you an actual demonstration of some ways you can get vitamins. Specifically, we're talking about vitamin C. Okay, here's one that's going to be a little easier because I think everyone already knows where they can get vitamin C. So, vitamin C. citrus fruits. Citrus. Are no, no. Citrus nope. fruits we're, contain we're one vitamin C, I'm also gonna... kiwi and strawberry. Wait, we're starting from the beginning. Oh, vitamins, vitamins, and minerals. Okay. Okay, wait till we get to the actual first. This is oh, first. this is it? I'm sorry. Yeah. I missed the lead and you're playing faster than I can think. No. Citrus fruits are full of vitamin C, but also bell peppers and broccoli. And yeah, oranges, grapefruit, citrus. lemons, citrus is what most people no think of. No scurvy in this house. But today I'm going to show you how you can get your full day's serving of vitamin C from... Oranges. Pasta salad. Okay. There's no fruit in it. I mean, shouldn't it be like a good source of vitamin C? It be like a sure. Fruit okay. But I think people worry a little too much about getting enough vitamin C. We don't actually need all that much. Scurvy is a terrible disease. It is a terrible disease that is really rare unless someone is very malnourished or eating like... Or at sea for a long time. I just think it's interesting to realize that we do get vitamin C from a lot of sources and unless you're eating no fruits and vegetables, you probably just don't need to panic about it too much. We need 75 milligrams a day for women, 90 milligrams a day for men. And you can get that from one large orange. So if you have one orange, that's fine. But you can also get double that from one large bell pepper. I'm going to go panic about it. <laughs> and look up the history of the word salad. Mm -hmm. So pasta itself doesn't have any vitamin C in it. But I think the other thing that I wanted to talk about a little bit is how you can actually incorporate pasta in your life. Sometimes people who are trying to eat healthfully are scared of pasta because it's a carbohydrate, because it's starchy, because it's high in calories. It is a carbohydrate. It is starchy. It's only high in calories if you eat a large portion size of it. You can eat it in the same way that you would eat something like bread or rice or oatmeal. You just want to work with the right portion size. Did you know that a bag, a one pound bag of pasta, actually contains eight servings. I only used half the bag of pasta. Half a bag of pasta, this is gonna be four servings of pasta salad. Pasta salad, I think, is a great meal prep idea. I like a hearty salad, and they're really great to pack and go for lunches, or even if you're working from home, you can have them ready to go. You think, I'm gonna make myself a healthy lunch because I'm at home. But do we? Do we? Here are 
are the ingredients that are going to contribute our vitamin C? Some of them more than others. I also wanted to make sure to add a source of protein, so I'm gonna put in a can of beans. Today I'm using white kidney beans. Kidney beans do contain a tiny bit of vitamin C. There are a couple of other ingredients that will have a small amount of vitamin C, not a lot, but things like artichokes, tomato. Not a great source of vitamin C, but they're gonna add up to the vitamin C content in this dish. Red bell pepper, I'm using a whole one, so we're gonna get two servings of vitamin C from this one red bell pepper. And then I have broccoli. Believe it or not, broccoli is a pretty good source of vitamin C. With a cup raw broccoli, you can again get your full serving of vitamin C for the day. So we've got at least three full servings of vitamin C, plus the tomato and the artichoke and the tiny bit from the beans really are gonna contribute. This whole batch is gonna have about 300 milligrams of vitamin C. For women, if we divide this into four servings, you're gonna get your full amount of vitamin C for the day, which is 75 milligrams. Now, men are supposed to get 90, so we're gonna get either all or almost all of our vitamin C for the day from a dish that doesn't seem like it would have vitamin C. Let's just put this salad together. So first of all, I made a little vinaigrette dressing on my own. I have another video on my channel that talks about how you can make your own vinaigrette dressing at home. But if you have another dressing that you wanna use, that's fine. We really just wanna make sure that all of this stuff, which is raw, except for the pasta is cooked, but that it's got some flavor. Broccoli, now my broccoli is still raw and I kinda wanna keep it raw. When you cook vegetables, some of the vitamin C can be lost to the water that you cook it in because it is a water-soluble vitamin. Because pasta salad is kind of a marinated salad, the broccoli is gonna soften a little bit in the marinade. I'm actually gonna pour the dressing right over the broccoli, but I'm also gonna add the warm pasta as well. I don't wanna cook the broccoli, but the warm pasta is gonna heat it up a little bit and I think allow the marinade to penetrate both of those ingredients a little better. Here's my pasta. It has been cooked and drained and I am using whole wheat pasta. Don't hesitate to use whole wheat pasta. It used to be that whole wheat pasta was kind of gritty and the texture was bad, but it has come a long way. 100% whole wheat pasta means that you are getting a whole grain that is full of fiber and minerals, so it is a healthy carbohydrate. If you use regular pasta, that's okay. You're just missing out on some of the fiber that you can get if you use a whole grain. Now I'm gonna add this dressing. And you can do this to taste. So if you're making your dressing and you wanna taste it to see if you like the dressing, a little tip is to actually taste it with the food on which you are going to serve it. So you might take like a piece of pasta and dip it in there and just taste to see if you like it. It's pretty good. This is a pretty vinegary vinaigrette and I tend to like them that way because I like the brightness and the tang. Mix it up. These other veggies, I'm really okay eating raw. I'm also gonna add some salt since I didn't put a lot of salt in the vinaigrette. The raw vegetables aren't salted and the pasta, although I cooked it in salted water, doesn't have a lot of salt on it. So I'm gonna add a little salt to the whole thing. Do this to taste. If you wanna measure, I would say somewhere between a half a teaspoon and a teaspoon would be maybe the max I would do. I don't know if this bowl is gonna hold it all. Stuff is falling out. So red bell pepper, you can use a different color bell pepper as well. It doesn't matter what color, they all contain vitamin C. I'm gonna open up these beans. You could use a different kind of beans. Choose according to your own preference. And this is adding protein. It's also adding additional fiber. We've got our grain, we've got our vegetables, and then we've got our protein. So this is really gonna be a complete meal for you. Even if it's just a lunch, you could also eat this for dinner. Of Drain course. and rinse your beans and then plop them in. You can see by how full this bowl is, like this is gonna make four servings, no problem. Get in the tomatoes and the olives. These are just for kind of fun, some color, a little added flavor and interest. This is decidedly not the only recipe for making pasta salad. Put in whatever you like, carrot, celery, cucumber, anything like that would be great. Once we get this all mixed up, which is probably not gonna happen real easily in this bowl, then really it's just a matter of portioning it. You can keep it in the refrigerator and eat it over the days for the next week. All right, voila! So this is actually a pretty easy prep meal. There is some chopping involved and some cooking of pasta, but then you just throw it together. That came together so fast, it looks so pretty. So what did your salad research? 
fine. It comes from the French word salade in the okay. 14th century, which further came from a Latin root of a salata, which basically means salted vegetables or vegetables seasoned with brine, which the Romans liked to eat. Fascinating. You want to try it? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's so hot. It's not hot. It's already cooled off quite a bit, and we'll refrigerate it. Mm-hmm. It's tasty. Yeah. How many servings would you guess this is? Five or six? Really, we can do it into four. Okay. With four servings, you get the correct portion of pasta for a meal. You get a good serving mm -hmm. of beans for your protein. And you get a full day's serving of vitamin C. What if I unmix it when I'm picking my servings and take, like, just pasta or just broccoli? Don't do it that way. <laughs> let me know by leaving a comment down below subscribe and like this video it really helps my channel grow thank you so much for joining me today and if you want to learn more about how to get your vitamins and minerals from food check the description below for a free PDF you can download with that information take care and join me next time bye bye like why Wine's a good score to soak vitamin C, right? It's got fruit. <laughs> it's made from fruit. Okay. I'm not so sure that the vitamin C is the reason most people drink wine. Like cereal yeah. is a milk salad. So you take away the final version. Here it is. Vitamins. 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 I'm just the guitarist, so... <laughs> exactly. You're on commission here. I'm just the musician. <laughs> Where's playing my on commission. Studio? I'm not playing on commission. <laughs> just because your commission is zero doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And none of these ingredients... Well, the beans are salted. Um, and the artichokes... Well, okay, so all of these things are salted. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs>